Welcome to iCare Lullaboom mobile app tutorial video. This guide outlines step-by-step -step instructions to access different features offered through the app. First, let's start by downloading the app. The iCare Lullaboo app is available on both Apple and Google Play stores. Links are available in the video description and on our website at www.lullaboo.ca. You can also search iCare Lullaboo on your preferred app store and follow the instructions to download the app. Sign up. Before you start the sign up process, please note that your email ID needs to be linked with your registered parent account at Lullaboo Nursery and Child Care Centre. You must use the same email ID to sign up on the mobile app where you are receiving email communications. Please contact your centre supervisor should you face any problems while signing up for our mobile app. Open the iCare Lullaboo app. Click on the Sign Up Now link located at the bottom of the login screen. Select the location where your child is registered and click Next. Enter the email address which is already on your parent profile. If you do not know the registered email address, please contact your centre supervisor. A six-digit verification code will be sent to your email. It may take a few minutes to receive the code. Once you receive the code, enter it and click Next. Enter a valid username and password to be used as your login credential. Email addresses can also be used as a username. Then click Next. Congratulations, you are ready to sign in. In order to be able to save or revisit pictures from your child's daily logs, please accept the photo permission when prompted. Please note that the daily report pictures are only available for today's date on the app. Any pictures from previous dates will not be available on the daily report section. The pictures are saved on your mobile device as soon as your photos are viewed in the daily reports. You can find more details on our mobile app user guide. Again. If you face any difficulties signing up on the mobile app, please contact your center supervisor. Child Info The Child Info option allows parents to view basic information of their registered child. Click on the Child Info icon on the home screen. Select the child's name to view the child's information. The Parents or Guardian tab shows the parents or guardians who are linked with the child's profile. My Info The My Info option allows parents to view and edit basic information on their registered account with Lullaboo. Click on the burger menu on the top left of the home screen and select My Info. The Edit icon will only show if you have access to Edit. The My Child tab shows the basic details of the child or children linked with your registered account. My Child Care Team My Child Care Team option allows parents to see biographies of our Lullaboo staff. Click on the My Child Care Team option on the home screen. Select the child's name. The child's name will automatically be selected if you have only one registered child. Click on the staff name to read the biography and contact information. Daily Reports This feature allows you to check on your child's daily engagement in real time. Click on the Daily Report button. Select your child's name and the date for which you want to view and click Continue. This includes details about your child's daily meals, milk and water consumption, nap times with all related comments, diaper changes and washroom routines. Educators are also able to communicate item requests to parents as needed, which may include things like diapers, wipes, creams, extra clothing or even a special note. Report absenteeism. The Report Absenteeism option on the home screen allows parents to submit the absent request for their registered child. Click on the Report Absenteeism option on the home screen. All fields are required to submit the absence request. In 
incident and illness. The incident and illness option on the home screen allows parents to view the incident and illness for the child. Any parent having full access to the child's profile in the child care management software is allowed to view and acknowledge the incident and illness in the mobile app. Please contact the center supervisor if you are not able to see the child's name in the drop down menu on the incident and illness screen. There are two sections which allows the complete and incomplete incident and illness for the selected child. The list will be shortened by date showing latest incident or illness on the top. Clicking on the mark as red button will acknowledge the incident or illness. If the incident or illness is already acknowledged by another registered parent or guardian, then you will see the following update note in the place of mark as red button on the top of the details screen. Once the acknowledgement is processed on our end, you will see a red button on the incident or illness details screen. Medications. The medications option on the home screen allows the parents to view and sign their child's medication. Any parent having full access to the child's profile in our child care management software is allowed to view and sign the medications in the mobile app. Here you will see a list of medications sorted by incomplete or unsigned medications on the top. Click on any medication to view and sign it. The description tab shows the details about the authorization. Please read carefully before signing it. We are only allowing one parent with full access to sign the medication. If a medication is already signed by another registered parent or guardian for the child, then you will see the following update note on the medication's detail screen. Child plans. The child plans option on the home screen allows parents to view the child's allergy, medical and support plans. Any parent having full access to the child's profile in our child care management software is allowed to view the individual plan for their child. IAP, Individual Allergy Plan. The IAP shows allergens, food restrictions, and feeding practices for your child. By clicking on the red icon, a pop-up will open to show the symptoms and emergency actions associated with the allergen. Once the IAP is approved, it will appear along with your signature. IMP, Individual Medical Plan. The IMP shows medical conditions and related additional information for your child. By clicking on the red icon, a pop-up will open to show the medications and emergency actions associated with the medical condition. Once the IMP is approved, it will appear along with your signature. ISP, Individual Support Plan. The ISP shows special needs, individual support, and related additional information for your child. By clicking on the red icon, a pop-up will open to show the medications and emergency actions associated with the special need. Once the ISP is approved, it will appear along with your signature. Classroom Calendar The Classroom Calendar option allows parents to view the monthly calendar and highlights for their registered child. Click on the Classroom Calendar on the home screen. Select the child from the list. The current month and year will automatically be selected on the app. Selecting the monthly highlights option will show you the calendar highlights along with pictures. Click any pictures you want to see in full size image. Click the arrows to navigate between multiple pictures. You can download one picture or all of the pictures. Health screening. Parents can perform a digital health screening for their children before arriving to the child care center by answering the listed screening questions. Completing the healthcare screening through the iCare mobile app is very simple. Log into iCare Lullaboo app. Click on the health screening button on your home screen. If your child is attending care today, please select yes. Clicking on no will skip the health screening process. Now read and answer all the health screening questions carefully. You might be asked to measure your child's body temperature and enter it during the health screening process, so please keep the thermometer ready. 
please do not take your child into the center if the health screening results comes out as failed. In case you have accidentally submitted the failed health screening, then you can perform another health screening process on the app. Authorizations. The authorizations option on the home screen allows parents to view and sign authorizations for the child. Any parent having full access to the child's profile in our child care management software is allowed to view and sign the authorizations in the mobile app. Here you will see the authorizations sorted and unsigned authorizations on the top. Click any of the authorization to read and sign it. The description tab shows the details about the authorizations. Please read carefully before signing. We are allowing only one parent with full access to sign the authorization. If an authorization is already signed by another registered parent or guardian for the child, then you will see the following update note on the authorization details screen. Messaging. The messaging option allows parents to send text messages to their child's educators. Click on the messaging option on the home screen. Select the child's name from the list and type a message then click the send button. Please note that the app only maintains one conversation per child. You may open the conversation view and start typing the message to respond. Messaging notifications. The iCare Lullaboo app has a feature to send messaging notifications on your mobile device. You can set the interval to receive messaging notifications in the app as per your convenience. On the home screen, click on the burger menu on the top left. Select my account, manage settings, message notifications. Then set the interval by clicking on the plus or minus options. Notifications. The notifications option notifies parents about the latest updates on their child's profile. In order to receive the notifications from the iCare Lullaboo app on your mobile phone, the app must have sufficient permission on the mobile device. Click the bell icon on the home screen shows the number of new notifications. Clicking on the notification will show a detailed screen view. Users can turn off or mark the notifications as read by clicking on the gear icon. Daily routine and learning. The daily routine and learning option is on the home screen and it allows parents to view the weekly program and routine schedule for their registered child. Click the daily routine and learning option on the home screen. Select one of the following options program plan or routine schedule from the list and the child's name. Select the Monday's date. Please note that all other dates except Monday's date are not available for selection. Selecting program plan in step three shows the following information. Scroll down to see more information. The program plan for the other days of the week can be seen by selecting the respective day from the following drop-down list. Selecting routine schedule in step three shows the following information. Scroll down to see more information. Financials. The financials option on the top left burger menu allows parents to request the tax receipt for their registered account with Lullaboo. Any parent who has an active account with a valid email address in the child care management software and also responsible for paying the child care fees can request the tax receipt for the previous three years. To request the tax receipt, click the top left burger menu, select financials, then select the year for your invoice receipt request. Click continue. You will get the following confirmation message as soon as we receive your request. The tax receipt will be securely emailed to you with your registered email ID. Please note that it may take up to 45 minutes for us to prepare and email the tax receipt. We hope you enjoy using iCare Lullaboo app and we are happy to hear all your feedback.